if you think that all the water we use when we go to the toilet, you know, when we wash our hands, when we wash our clothes, when we produce our products or our food, ends up in, in sewers, it carries with it a lot of contaminants. So I work on water management, so understanding how we contaminate, how we pollute water, and how engineering, science and technology can keep our water safe for us to drink and use in our daily lives. People think that there is a lot of water on the planet. Actually, 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. This is in the oceans. Um, if you consider that uh, this barrel represents how much water there is on the planet, uh, a glass of it, about 3%, is fresh water. So, uh, a very small amount in comparison to what we perceive that there is available on the Earth. Um, out of this glass, most of it is actually tied up in the ice age of Antarctica and Greenland and, and in places that is difficult for us to get. A very small amount, 0.036%, something like this, is in rivers and lakes, which is what is readily available for us to use. So what seems to be a lot of water comes down to what we have in rivers and lakes. And again, a lot of it is not of the right quality for us to use. So you can see why we have a problem. Boiling is a good process, but it's very expensive. Uh, what we do is, is filter it, uh, use a lot of other processes, mainly with physical uh, removal of contaminants in, when we take water from nature and we prepare it for portable use. We separate one material from another, trying to mimic what nature does. So if you consider how the water cycle works, when, for example, you have water zip down the earth, it cleans itself because so if it works as a filter, so it sustains some particles. In the same way, we can have a filtration step where we try to, to contain solids. Most of our efforts actually are to go back in the source and trying to avoid polluting in the first place.